Dr. Stedman? Yes. Lieutenant Colombo, LAPD. We spoke on the phone. You're a long way from Los Angeles, Lieutenant. I wonder if you mind, sir. I do have to ask you a few questions. Lieutenant, I thought I made it clear there's nothing I can tell you about Vivian Dimitri. You did, sir, and I wouldn't bother you except it's so important. Do you mind if I sit down? Thank you very much. Been on my feet since 6 o'clock this morning. Lieutenant, I'm trying to eat my dinner. Uh, don't let me stop you, sir. Excuse me, Dr. Stedman. Is there some problem? No, no problem at all. Uh, Lieutenant Colombo, the police department, I just have to ask the doc a few questions, and we thought we'd get it out of the way over dinner instead of having him spend all night in the police headquarters. I know how busy you must be, sir. Well, perhaps the lieutenant would like to see a menu. I won't be necessary, sir. I'll just have a BLT on white toast and cream soda. One embarcadero garni. Thank you very much. What are they, snails? Escargot dipped in garlic butter. Flavor is fantastic. Oh, garlic, that's what I smell. What's it for? Kill the taste of the snails? Hey, Lieutenant, can we make this as quick and as painless as possible? A man named Charlton Chambers is dead. I have reason to believe that Vivian Dimitri killed him. Ten years ago, Chambers tipped a stockbroker to the fact that one of his employees, Mrs. Dimitri's husband, Pete Garibaldi, had embezzled funds from his clients. Although that fact was not known to the world, it is my guess that Mrs. Dimitri found out about it, and last Friday night, she even the score. Lieutenant, if you expect me to make a comment on that, you have a long wait. For me to divulge what Vivian Dimitri may or may not have revealed to me would be a violation of a trust. Thank you. Ah, small matter a salad. You're gonna have to forgive me, sir. But here I am, I'm talking about murder, and from this side of the table, it looks like you don't care one way or the other that this woman shot down an unarmed man in cold blood. Lieutenant, if I understand correctly, you're trying to get me to confirm your suspicion that Vivian Dimitri may have murdered Charlton Chambers out of revenge. If that were true, and I'm not saying it is, Lieutenant, such an obsession might not end with Chambers. He is, after all, not the man who put her late husband behind bars. You knew who I was when I called you. She mentioned my name. I can't comment on that. Mrs. Dimitri has asked a lot of questions about my wife. A lot of questions about her, sir. She even wants to meet her. I'm afraid that would not be a good idea. When you say that that won't be a good idea... I mean, it would not be a good idea. The other night, I took a couple of books out of the library. Mental disorders, psychotic behavior, that kind of thing. I found a case history. A woman who felt that someone's actions led to the death of her husband. But her obsession for revenge didn't focus on the person that was responsible for it but on that person's wife. Would you say that was unusual, sir? Not at all, Lieutenant. In extreme cases, such a fixation is common. You rob me of my husband, I rob you of your wife. In this example, sir, well, it seemed to me pretty dumb. I mean, the woman couldn't expect to get away with it. I'm sure she didn't expect to. On the contrary, I imagine she would have gone out of her way to make sure the man knew that she'd been responsible. Even if she had to spend the rest of her life in prison? She wouldn't care very much about that. Your embarcadero, sir. Garney. Oh, excuse me. I just ordered a BLT. What's all this? That's Garney, sir. Oh. Well, to tell you the truth, I'm not feeling too hungry, uh... Uh, maybe you could put this in a doggy bag and I'll eat it on the plane. Of course, sir. Thank you. Uh, just a sandwich, the garni. You can keep the garni. Thank you, doctor. You've been a very big help. Hey, Lieutenant, 
The woman you described from that case history you found in that book, if she did exact her revenge, she would have to make sure her victim knew that she was responsible. Otherwise, where's the satisfaction? Do you follow me? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, I follow you perfectly. Just one more thing. 